Ram, Rob, Robin, Robden of Solway Firth, the plowman poet, the bard of Ayrshire, Scotland's favorite son. Son, brother, friend, compatriot, co-conspirator, lover, husband, father, poet, critic, mentor, writer, songwriter, creator. Robert Burns enjoyed the fame that he did get during his lifetime and the recognition for his work, but he never forgot his humble beginnings. And he couldn't have forgotten them if he tried because it was those humble beginnings that made him so famous. Uh, he was indeed, in his time, known as the Plowman Poet, um, famous for his poems about country living. And so I present to you uh, one of his poems. It's one of his earliest poems, in fact. And it uh, shows his love of nature and his appreciation of his beauty. The poem is called The Wintry West Extends His Blast, or Just Winter a Dirge. And this has been put to music previously, but this is my version. He wrote, Now all the congregation o'er is silent expectation, for Moody speeds the holy door with tidings of damnation. Not very warm and fuzzy. Um, but for all that, Burns was a man of faith. Uh, he believed in a direct connection between a person and God. Um, this was given to him by his mother Agnes and then reinforced watching his father lead the family in worship when he was a child. And so the next poem I will play for you is a prayer. It's, it was written in a time in Burns' life when he was, he was in his early 20s. He was broke, and his fa latest farming venture had just failed, and his health was going too. So 
Um, the poem is called Prayer Under Pressure of Violent Anguish. I think we've all been there. And again, the music is mine. <laughs> <laughs> 